Hello everyone, welcome back to our sessions. So today we will be discussing about Altrix. So Altrix as we know it's one of the most important like and one of the most powerful uh, data preparation tool in the market and everyone is working on that. Everyone is looking for the resources like coming from Altrix background or you should be able to work on it like so that you can just work on your data preparation, data cleaning, data modeling and even data predictive analytics. So you can work on any kind of these things. So that is one of the most advanced data uh, analytical software available in the market currently. So from uh, Altrix, using Altrix, you can do any kind of uh, operations basically starts with data, basic data preparation to like uh, complete data modeling to predictive analytics, statistical analysis okay all that part so that's all these things can be done with the help of Altrix so let's go ahead and just like learn today another tool in Altrix so that will be the sample tool sample tool as we know it helps us to take the sample out of the data so let's say you have thousand records okay in thousand records you want to take a sample of let's say first and records first and percent records first like uh, last records okay so or like a kind of proportion of the data so if you want to do that kind of scenario based like uh, uh, sampling then you you need to use sample tool so let's go ahead and just load the data so for loading data i hope everyone is aware that like uh, you need to use input data tool so i'll just drag input data tool on the canvas so this way i can load data from my flat files databases from any other sources it's up to you from where you want to load the data for now i'm just trying to load the data from my desktop it's a superstore data or i can use any of the databases or like if you have access to that i'm just using a flat file like uh, so sources so you can connect to any of data sources you have all these like uh, a big list of data sources use which you can connect to your altrix and load data all that completely so here you get obviously you get a lot of options to load the data and from different places for now i'm just loading a data file which is like a flat file like uh, excel file here so i'll just select that i have three sheets here orders people and returns i'll select orders and here again so again if you want to see help so you can just click on help and you can see that how to load excel input and all that stuff okay and then you just click on okay so this way like what happens the data is loaded on the screen basically this is the preview of the data data is still not loaded completely it is a preview of the data that this is how the data looks like so these are your small like uh, fraction of data which is 100 records only and it tells you that these are the columns and this is how the data will look like if you load it completely i hope everyone can understand these things like options so we have already dis discussed these things like uh, earlier in previous sessions if you can go ahead and like watch the previous videos and if you want to do it again let me know and comment in the box like comment your uh, suggestions or if you have any kind of uh, questions you can always comment out those things so let's go ahead and just run this workflow so for now i am not seeing any data so let's click on run so just, just let's see that how much data it is having so here it just got executed in just, just uh, 0.6 seconds not even one second okay so this way like uh, it's very quick and uh, here if you see that like we have 21 fields and this much of data 9994 records are coming and this is the data the whole data set these are the columns and if you click on metadata you will see all the metadata of your file which you have just loaded so here you have columns you have their type of the data data types what is the size everything yes it also take uh, the sizes also like the source information description if you have given any description along with this like you can just copy this data all records uh, with headers without headers and but you cannot save it okay for now like, okay so let's see okay we have clicked on that and we'll go back to data now i want to use the browse tool okay so what is the purpose of browse tool so browse tool helps us to see the output of the any, any particular process or the input okay so let's say i'll just add a browse tool here i can just drag and connect to my browse tool or i can just right click here okay right click here and then i'll get an option here to add a browse tool completely it's up to the way you want to see it <clears throat> okay so it's up to you that how you want to add it so you can use drag and drop or you can just use the right click here so next thing what we will do we will just see the data here so in browse tool it doesn't show us anything because we have not executed or we have not uh, used the run option here till now so it is saying that no data available control plus r to run the workflow you can use short key or you can just click on this run icon so here the data again it's loaded it took one 0.1 second extra just because we have used a browse tool 
so okay i hope uh, people who have uh, worked on altrix or people who are new to uh, altrix you should know that uh, you should try to minimize the number of browse tool you use in your workflows otherwise uh, your performance will go very slow so that is one thing what we always consider and we remember when we are delivering the final workflow we have to make sure that browse tools are minimum okay so you should not use more and more browse tools adding here and there just for your convenience no it should not be the case okay so that's how like we see the data okay so we can see the everything but now here if you see uh, if i click on browse tool i'm getting a profile of the data of all the columns along with that like i get a new window to see the data completely so i can see just like uh, another option here clicking getting me say new window it will give me the whole data in a new window so it's up to you like uh, how like you want to utilize or you want to see these options and all so the next thing what we have to do is like sampling so we will just add a sample so why do we need a sample see we want to do some kind of data model we want to do some kind of like analysis we want to do create some kind of process in which we need a set a subset of the data and that subset, subset of data can be okay 10 records 20 records or a percent of like proportion of the data and all that so how will you do that you cannot randomly go and select uh, row 1 row 5 row 7 like that or row 9 row 11, 12 like that no that will not be work because that way you will not get the right result so in this case what we do we use a sample tool so sample tool is one of the most important tool uh, in Altrix processes if you are working on Altrix data preparation and all that if you want to do any kind of data modeling if you want to do any kind of data analytics and all sample tool over sample all these are tools very very important so here like sample tool you can just click on this uh, cushion icon help okay so you can just go ahead and just uh, see and uh, read about the text what all this tool about and all that under the configuration if you see that select sample type what kind of sample you want to use so you have multiple options here first and rows last and rows skip first and rows one of every n rows one in n chance of include each row first n percent rows and then you can define n and also you have an option of like getting the data sample by uh, grouping also i'll add another browse tool here so just for the purpose like so that you can just see the data what we will be getting here so i have just uh, clicked on uh, browse here like on the sample tool and first n row so let's say i have you you remember that how much data i am having 9000 something records okay what i'll do i'll just make it as 135 okay just given a random number okay now if i say execute this workflow say run i'll get first 135 records only so it will give me the first and third 135 records it will not give me the last it will not get it from like between the records no it will give me the first 135 same way i can apply any other rules here last and rows skip first and row this is quite important in some cases where like uh, you have some bad data or some you want to remove you have some unwanted information on top of your table like your data so let's say up to five record i want to remove it okay so let's say up to five record i want to remove it top five records so what i can do i can just say skip first and rows okay so i can just say five so first and first five records will be skipped let me just execute this again say run so here you see that like I got 9989 so first five records are removed and my record data is starting from row ID 6 so first five are gone so this is another very important like in such cases where you have excel file or some files which you might have seen that it comes with formulas lot of uh, text information all that and you want to start this thing with uh, a particular row your like data loading and all that start with from particular row so that thing you can use it with a sample tool there is one more tool <coughs> which can do the same thing i want you to tell me comment it okay uh, tell me in the comments like if you know that tool which can be used to do the same kind of operation to skip the number of rows okay let me know that very important question people normally ask this okay one of every n row so out of like five rows ten rows get me five rows okay so of, uh, out of ten rows you want to see only two rows you can just say n2 okay then you have one in n chance to include each row so it let's say you have like uh, 100 records out of 100 records you say okay uh, give me two records okay so you will get let's say 50 you might get 50 records but your result may vary from 50 to 70 so that how like uh, uh, this option works 
and then you have first n percent of rows n percent of rows is nothing but like the same thing you have given first five percent if i run this workflow now it will get me the first five percent rows only so this is five percent uh, 500 so almost like uh, it got me 500 records so that is how like it will vary and now if i say give me this five percent rows on shape mode if i'm doing a grouping now remember this is another thing like now i'm going to the grouping level also so five percent rows based on a grouping when i click on run my number of counts like will change because it has to uh, take the grouping also into the count so this will vary the number of records the sampling will vary so this thing you can apply with any of these rules here and you can get your answers here get your results here so this is one of the most most important part of like uh, Alteric processes, Alteric workflows. Sample tool is one of the commonly used uh, tool available in your like uh, workflows. <clears throat> so this is like uh, uh, all from my side. Go through this. Like if you have any questions, like me know, and hopefully you might have enjoyed this, like and learned something new from this video. If you liked it, please like and share, and share with your colleagues, your peers, your friends, so that they can also learn something new. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead.